teaching seemed to do exactly what she changed she wanted said and without a second thought. How do you know? Because the next second functioning suddenly screamed curses at the communication array. You fought to roll first and rolled out a woman's bath. Give me the dice, I'll roll. <laughs> Hearing women's bath, Shane Man covered his face with his hands. <laughs> Why would you be afraid of that? Shi Ching Xuan woefully called, Generals, what did you run into this time? There was no response, only odd burbling sounds, as if the two of them had sunken into water. Oh! Each of these monsters were over four meters in length, fed on human flesh, and grew human arms and legs from such evil practices. Ugh. Hua Cheng, walking in front of him, said, If you wanted to see me, it won't matter what you roll, I will appear. <laughs> Yes, followed hard and forgot everything else he wanted to say. After hundreds of years, Feng Xin finally returned to the hands of its master. Can we explain what happened? <laughs> uh, Feng Xin means affection of a young woman. Hmm. Long Chen Chu gritted his teeth and finally ground out you owe me an explanation. What kind of explanation do you want? I want an explanation. It was glaring, plump with anger. It carried a fat sword on its back, gallant in its form, exactly like Long Chin Chu, except it's a lovable big toy. Earlier, Hua Chong said there was only one way to get close to the green ghost Chi Rong, and it appeared that mixing in with the food was the way. From the looks of things, he was more than certain. If it wasn't that Chi Rong that he knew, how could there be another Qi Rong who was obsessed with the statue of the kneeling crown prince? And why would the sound of his voice be so familiar? So the green ghost Qi Rong and the crown prince of Xianle, one ghost, one god, a difference between hell and heaven, looked very much alike. I don't get it. <laughs> What's going on? Friends this, friends that. What peaceful relationship. Xiang Le and Yong On can be friends, coexist in peace. You're as fake as your shitty parents. Disgusting. Yo, I get it. You couldn't believe it, right? I heard you nailed your own teacher into a coffin. Ha ha ha. What an effing idiot. You killed the wrong person. Shei Lian turned to Long Chen Chu and said in a calming manner, I killed your father. You saw with your own eyes. This is disappointing. <laughs> ah. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you liked the video. And I'll see you in the next video, beautiful nerds.